Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. In the last video featuring spring corn planting with John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractors and 24-row Kinsey planters, there were a lot of questions and comments about all of the stones that were in the field. That was just one section of the field that did have some rocks in it. Most of the field was pretty clear. But in southwestern Kentucky, where this video was filmed, there's a lot of lime rock right along the Tennessee border between the two states, and sometimes it gets worked up. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a Schulte Jumbo Rock Picker as it cleans up the field from stones on the surface. Having stones in a field is a natural occurrence. Oftentimes, fall tillage is the biggest culprit in bringing those rocks to the surface of the field. This farm likes to run V-rippers 18 inches deep in the ground in the fall to break up compaction and loosen the soil for next year's crops to have a healthy root system. But in running that deep and breaking up the soil, a lot of stones can also come up with the fracturing of the earth from the ripper. In the springtime, secondary tillage after the V-rippers that is used to smooth out the surface of the field can further work up smaller stones and expose larger rocks that were just below the surface that the rippers pulled up during the fall. Here we can see a 60 foot wide blue jet anhydrous applicator that's injecting anhydrous as a form of nitrogen into the soil that will help the new corn crop grow. But you can see the shanks on this wide toolbar are working up additional rocks and material on the surface that the rock picker will need to grab before the harvest in the fall. Ideally, you're going to bring your rock picker out to the field and pick up all the stones before the corn planter starts rolling. But sometimes, because of weather pressures and deadlines to get the crop in the ground, the corn planter has to roll despite the rocks. You can see that this Kinsey planter is set up with Martin no-till row cleaners. And even though we have some stones across the surface here, those row cleaners are good and just kind of nudging the smaller stones out of the way and that way the corn seed is going in the ground and they're not going to have any obstructions sitting on top of a plant and not allowing it to grow and emerge out of the soil. Harvesting in rocking conditions is never an ideal situation, but even if the farm is unable to pick up all the stones after planting, when it comes to harvesting corn, the corn head runs just above the surface of the field at a pretty good height away from the stones and it's just picking the ears of corn so the header doesn't have to get right down on the ground to harvest this crop and you're pretty safe if you do have stones on the surface of the field when it comes to corn harvest. When you're harvesting soybeans with a grain platform that's a whole different story and we're going to take a look at that operation next. In southwestern Kentucky along the Tennessee border where lime rock can be prevalent in certain sections of the fields. Almost all of the soybeans that are planted follow winter wheat as a second crop. The winter wheat follows corn and is seeded in October and then harvested in June and almost immediately behind the combines soybeans are drilled into the wheat straw and stubble and then in October those beans are ready to harvest as a second crop from the same field in one year. Draper heads are the most popular option in western Kentucky 
for harvesting double crop soybeans. They do a great job using rubber belts to easily collect up the bean crop that has been cut by the sickles and the header and deposited in the combine for threshing. But when you're harvesting double crop beans, like you can see here with this 45 foot wide McDon draper head, they have to get really low to the ground and the reel speed is turned up to not only collect the soybeans, but also to bat in the straw stubble left over from the wheat harvest in June. The farm wants to just shave off the entire surface of the field and as the combine is harvesting, it's going to collect up that wheat stubble, the beans, and then deposit the bean straw and the wheat straw back on the surface of the field to help hold the soil over the winter with a nice mulch. But it's important not to have any rocks because you don't want to put those through the combine. And we're going to talk to one of the operators of these big John Deere S790s to talk about the problems that stones can cause if they're not picked up off the field by a rock picker. Matt, uh, earlier we were watching you um, change some of the fingers on the drum here in the header, and is that something you have to do daily, or how often do you have to check those? Yeah, I mean, most of the time, we'll, as you can see here, we've got several rock that we pick up in the field, and they, on the new uh, FD-145 headers, have a, uh, a hollow finger in the drum, and uh, they're made to break when they hit rock, so it won't uh, damage the drum itself. Uh, and course you pick up a rock it's going to break a finger so but you know every morning or something I'll go ahead and replace them but it can run without them it's not a big deal it just doesn't feed quite as well uh, so was that a good change to have them break free then or yes and no <laughs> uh, it's good that they break and don't damage the drum as bad but also it's not good because every day you got to get put fingers in it so I mean one rock could take out three or four of them in one one swipe so well it looks like a pretty good collection of good sized stones and looks like some uh, tree, roots. tree roots and everything else there so definitely important to watch uh, what's going out there when you're harvesting yeah. and uh, need to pay attention for sure important to do this maintenance every day to keep it all running exactly so Matt we're looking at those fingers and talking about them in the header and how they'll break off if something hits it but can a rock actually get taken up into the combine it can uh, smaller rocks will um, there's a, a rock trap up under the feeder house of the combine here and it will catch smaller rocks uh, if they end up going through there most of the time they stop at the front um, it'll slip the clutch and, and it won't allow it to get up in there but uh, sometimes the smaller ones do get in and uh, I'm gonna empty here there's probably one or two in here yeah, See, there's there's one right there that made it in into the sure. combine, but didn't make it through the combine. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want that inside your rotor. No, <laughs> so that's that's sure. good to have that feature to catch them. Yeah. And once it's cleaned out and there's nothing else in there, we'll close it back up and put the clip in, it, and we're good to go. Now that we've reviewed the reasons stones are brought up to the surface of the field through tillage and the importance of collecting those stones ahead of planting a crop so they're not damaging the cedar and of course protecting the combine during harvest from the damage the stones can create for the harvesting header and the insides of the combine's threshing mechanisms. We're going to spend some time in the field now with a rock picker. This is a Schulte Jumbo 320 and we'll see it picking up stones in this western Kentucky field. It's not a very glamorous or exciting job. It's actually pretty tedious going back and forth and not only looking for the stones on the surface of the field but maybe finding a few that are still jutting up that can equally do damage damage during planting or harvesting. So I, I hope you'll enjoy watching this rock perker at work as they prepare to clear off the field so there's a good seed bed ready to go for the new crop.
Now that the stones have been picked up, the field is nice and smooth and ready to have the new corn crop put into it. Picking up stones and rocks is a very slow process and definitely not the most exciting job to have on the farm, but one of the most important to make sure that all the machinery during the entire cropping season is working at peak production and not having any unexpected breakdowns because of striking a stone in the field. Having an automated rock picker like the Schulte Jumbo 320 that we just watched is also very handy. Many farms in the past have relied on picking up stones by hand, whether throwing them into a tractor bucket or up onto a wagon, and having that automated process really speeds up the stone collection and helps the planter stay ahead of the weather. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.